Hey guys, today we're at the Rose City Roundup here in Portland, Oregon, checking out all these classic cars, rockabilly bands, and pinup bags. And this is Bossa Nova Life, and today we are in Portland, Oregon for Rose City Roundup. Rose City Roundup, baby. Yours? Yes. Nice. How long have you had it? Uh, 2017. 2017? Yeah. All right. Did, did you yeah, do... We actually had this at the 2018 roundup. Okay. But I, it know, wasn't I thought done. I'd seen it before, but it wasn't yeah. done. Yeah. It, we had just picked it up, just got it running. Wow. And so it took us a couple of years to get it to this point. Did you get all the, the paint done too? Yep. Yep. Wow. Amazing. So what's it running in it? Uh, 350. 350, all right. It's yeah. reliable. Yeah, exactly. It's just <laughs> something basic. That means hopefully you drive it a lot. That's our goal. That's the goal. All right. I like that. And you got the kids in the back and everything. That's right. There you go, man. Push car races. They are going to start momentarily. Drive your car up to the push car track in the middle of the road. Okay. Five participants. One driver, four pushers. Amazing hair, of Thank course, Christina. You. And then you match you. the dress. Yes, I've always wanted to be her, and today a I lady am. luchador. Yes. <laughs> what happens at Rusto a lot is they're up towards the bands, and I can't play because it all get copywritten if I. You know what I mean? Use that. So I'll watch. Where'd you put that out? That is an awesome one. Is this your LaFonda? This is. That is an amazing name. We were just enjoying it. How are you doing, man? Good, good. And what is your name? My name is Ryan. Where are you from, Ryan? Uh, Longview, Washington. Longview. So you just came down a little ways. Yep, came a little ways. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. There you he go. brought his babies and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we got here, man? 1947 DeSoto Custom. Oh, it is gorgeous. DeSoto is my favorite car, uh, but you don't see too many of this era. No, this one's still got the flathead six, but it's got the T5 conversion on it. So now five speed, do highway speeds now, and not mess with that fluid drive anymore. So. So did you do disc brakes and stuff too, so nope, you can stop? Still factory everything. Oh goodness. Except the transmission everything else is live stopped, fast so. die young yeah, right. <laughs> but, so what have you done to it yourself so i got it i got the transmission put in uh correctly we uh added a little accents here and there and then uh as well as uh, kind of cleaned it up it sat for a while outside so we did our little touches to it and got it back on the road so did you do the paint no it was actually painted a guy had it painted back in 2000 by mako okay so and the old and mako transmission i assuming went out yeah parked it since then and then a friend took a took care of it and couldn't finish it and i took over amazing and finished it so but now it sounds like you're driving it a lot more yeah we drive it all the time it's one of our favorites to drive it's a blast to drive actually well we love so, it thanks thank man i appreciate you coming hello <laughs> how are you doing buddy are you having fun at the rose city roundup yeah <laughs>
you getting a calendar from one of our dear friends? I am. And you got a sweet ride. What is this? What we have here is a 59 Buick LeSabre. I love it, man. So how long have you had it? I've had it about two years. Two years? Yeah. Have you done anything to it? I've did the dash in the back and the center console. Uh, the engine's been, run, been redone okay. by another guy. And what is that? But, uh, that's a 401 Nailhead, came out of a 66 Wildcat. Wow. And it's all been redone. So Show it moves. Here a second. It moves. It's, a, it's still a cruiser, but it moves. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to guess, not too hard, but it looks like you got airbags on it. Yeah, we just actually just got that done. Uh, it has a AirTech ride suspension in it. Wow, that I just love got it, redone. So. so what drew you to this car? Oh, the grill. The grill. The, the grill has to do it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like the DeSoto we were looking at a minute ago, they got the teeth on them. Yeah. It's right here, though. That's a pretty motor. Yeah. Yeah, but I gotta You leave did it. have that redone. Yeah, we gotta leave the hood closed. It just sets, sets off the grill, I love so. the pinstriping. Yeah, I just talked to the guy over there. He's gonna do some pinstriping for me, so we'll end up doing the hood and the trunk also. Some on the hood too? Yeah, I'll be the hood and trunk uh, hopefully in a couple months here. Alright man. Uh, that. Well thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. thought they were spray cans right they're like water bottles yeah that's great yeah, that's so cool. aquanet water bottle baby yeah. you could smuggle that's things that weren't you could smuggle like all kinds of liquid yeah. shall we say uh, yeah so these cans just fit right in there coincidentally <laughs> I oh, you know what they say I don't know. the claw is the law yeah. how are you doing man I'm doing well how are you doing great and it, running into you brought up an old memory you're the very first person we ever interviewed on this channel pretty cool at rose city roundup about six years ago i would say or was so. the jubits yeah yeah and you had that little roadster yep just finished that car then yeah, yeah. i didn't have any doors on it if i remember correctly the driver's door is welded shut yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I remember all of this. It's stuck in my head. And you've got this gorgeous ride today. So uh, what is your name? Sean Maurer. And where are you from, Sean? Vancouver, Washington. All right. So just right across the river in the Couve. Yeah. So tell us what you got. Well, this is a 37 Ford Coupe. It was an old Portland car. It was bought and sold in Portland back in 1937. You know, it sports original paint. It's just like a late 40s custom. Yeah. You know, it's been lowered a little bit in the butt. It's got that rum runner look to it. It does, yeah. It's, like, it's a full running board car. It's, you know, it just took a little bit of refreshing when I found it. Mm -hmm. It's just a great driver. Still 21 stud flathead. And you were saying this is the original paint? Yeah, original paint, all that worn. It's insane. It's got like a, it's hard to see on this camera. Hopefully I can pull it out for you guys, but like a dark brown undertone. It almost looks like coffee. Yeah, it's, it's like, old, like a swirly coffee. Yeah, it's the old red oxide. It's coming amazing. Out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is it running in it? I'm sorry, I cut you off. Oh, 21 stud flathead. So it's all all stock. Wow. It's, yeah, just I 12 volted it and that's about it. And it came with the skirts? No, it didn't come with the skirts. Those are kind of paint matched. And, okay. Yeah. We did a nice job. Thanks. So I love that. 49 Plymouth bumpers and uh, just some old flipper hubcaps and yeah. dual exhaust. Oh, yeah. What I paid you get to see all the glory of the flathead. Man, they just squeeze them in there. But what was awesome about these is you can fold the sides down, actually work on it now. Yeah. Where nowadays you're like three hours later, I'll have one side off of this car. I know. It's amazing. There's a lot of light on this side of the car. Then we got the the beautiful dash. It's just crazy to see them stock us. There we go. Got in the way of camera. So.
Well, how are you doing today, sir? Good, real good. And what is your name? Jeff Ballstrom. Jeff, and where are you from? Fairview. Fairview, Oregon. not too far away. Not and tell far. us about this awesome Econoline. This is my 64 Ford Econoline pickup. We kind of made it into a fake race car in a way. Uh, <laughs> so it looks my, like a gasser. Yeah, it looks like a gasser. <laughs> it's my rain car. I have a little uh, 65 Nova gasser too. Oh, I see. But this is my winter car because it's got wipers and heaters and Amazing. all that. So, so what are you running in this one? Uh, it's the one, 176 cylinder. Okay. And we split the exhaust so it's... So you, uh, did, you didn't drop a motor in the trunk? No, I've got a motor like to drop in if I ever get around. Uh, I see I, those all the time. Yeah. Well, they, they do but, turn them into real gassers. Yeah. yeah. So, But it's like I say, it's more of a fantasy rig than anything else. Well, that, that's awesome. I like the fact that you keep it mostly original. Yeah. <laughs> so do you drive it much? Yeah, we drive it quite a bit, actually. Awesome. So, I love it's, it. It's my old reliable. The gassers are loud and no heater, no yeah, wipers, yeah. any of that. probably so. gets like eight miles a gallon. Yeah. yeah <laughs> oh, there are steady shirts here. I'm wearing one right now. I thought I saw somebody mentioning it. Is this yours? It is. Oh, I saw you earlier. I didn't know you had a whole booth and everything. Amazing. Love it. Oh my gosh, oh my you matched the car. What a coinky ding. <laughs> that is amazing. So it is your car. It is, yeah. See that? Question and answer, Lola. Mm -hmm. what? I'm pretty smart. I use both sides of my oh, brain. Oh, did you did you decide that this probably belongs to you? Perfect, just like that. That looks really good. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ooh, turquoise on turquoise. I your left glasses there. Sir. Good, how are you? And this is the second time I've interviewed you at two different events in two weeks. Back to back. I love it, but I saw this car, I'm like, who owns this ride? And they're like, that's the gentleman you interviewed last week up in Long Beach. So yeah. nice. tell us a little bit about this. That was a start of its life as a 58 uh, Chevy Bel Air uh, hardtop. They made a post, but this was the hardtop. That's why I got it. And, and you said you like to buy things that are in original condition. <laughs> it was, well, it was rough when I bought it. Uh, I, I knew that I was going to do this to it, so I didn't want anything too nice because mm -hmm. uh, it was all going to go through. So, yeah, pretty much didn't quite go. I would say it's frame off because we did actually raise the frame a couple inches to replace some stuff. But yeah, pretty much everything gone through, everything re chromed, everything brand new. It's gorgeous. So, Who did the paint? Uh, Rob, El Robo, uh, out in uh, Vancouver. Wonderful. It. it is stunning. I love the sparkle to it and the tuck and roll interior and the whole bit. Yeah. Uh, my my uh, former neighbor Peter, the shop that owns uh, say uh, Mobile West. I'm sorry, Mobile West. Uh, he did the seats for me. Uh, did a great job. Did some trade work with him. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And awesome. what are you running in it? I just Chevy 350. I bought actually from my buddy DJ over there in the Model A. It came you out of that car. You got right the old there. reliable, and he took it out of the Model A. Yeah, the old Model A right there. It came out of that car and put into this one. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, it is stunning. Yeah. You get to drive it around and be seen, and you get to pull the yeah, the airstream. Yeah, that's... the airstream with it. That's right. <laughs> this guy's I'm got it all. Hitch. I'm working on a hitch for the '63 Cadillac to pull the airstream right now. But I think Caddy I'll... pulling an airstream. I think that's fair. The '58 from having to pull anything. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right, man. Hey, good to see you. himself Floyd man in the flesh <laughs> he's yes. not a myth he's real there you are oh, you've already seen that Here's one. you want to get the new we've seen the wacky art 
Yeah, the wacky you art. Here's the, the new stuff over here. Stickers. Oh, you got stickers new stuff. Stickers and new prints. Yep, bunch of new stickers, bunch of new prints. You always got the Rat Fink look going on. Yeah, yeah. he's now an official Rat Fink artist. I am an official You are an official artist now. He's official yes. with Ed Roth now. Officially, Officially licensed. Yes. So. I love it. But yeah, it's yep. his newest stuff, the man thing, El Camino, and then... Yeah. So. Ooh, I like the van thing. Yeah. Yeah, I had fun with that. I have t-shirts of that, too, on that one. See, in Eugene, they would expect a very different kind of Reaper madness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. In Eugene, yeah. Yes. been chasing this car down for several seasons at different events trying to find who owns this ride and last night we checked into a hotel and what is next to us with this car and I finally found you what is your name sir Dennis Dennis Martin and where are you from Dennis Woodenville Washington Washington all right and what have we got here it's a 1955 DeSoto Fire Dome uh, DeSoto's it's, it's all original it has 91,000 original miles on it it's a, it has all the original six volt system on the car, and uh, it runs perfect. Drives to, out here 70 miles an hour, no problem on the freeway. Wow. Is that the original motor too? Original motor, original transmission. Wow. So, very nice car. I did make one change after I bought it. I put in radial tires. Radial, well, yeah, yeah. radials. That way it doesn't go all over the road. Exactly. Otherwise, at 70, 70, you'd be drifting between yeah, the lanes. Exactly, and it was it was yeah, too man. scary, especially when it rains up in in Woodenville. So well, I'm, it's yeah. gorgeous. I'm glad I finally caught oh, you. Yeah. DeSotos are top five on my favorite cars yeah, list. I love this car, yeah, and I and, love the grill. Yeah, you gotta and, get a picture and, of the and, grill. And, and Lola <laughs> loves the colors. That's like some of her favorite colors, yeah. man. So it's a lovely ride. The only thing I did was I uh, had to uh, painted the uh, valve covers because they were starting to rust. And the rust was getting inside the uh, valve trees. So you had to replace the valve covers? Yeah. So I, well, I just painted them. I just cleaned them up. The fronts on the DeSotos are always yeah, amazing. Yeah. They look like teeth. Right. Now you guys were at uh, the Las Vegas one here, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. Of. We're going to be at Viva again this year. Yes, so am I. <laughs> Next. Are you bringing this ride? This is what I'm going to be bringing the Viva Las Vegas. Well, I'll see you there then, yeah. man. Because I progressed up and I was like, sleep on this. Shadow, but what's your name, sir? James Rose. And where are you from? Portland, Oregon. Portland, Oregon. Five minutes from here. <laughs> and you got this awesome tiki car that we saw and ran over. So tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's, uh, it was made in 1959 in England. And then I put, it, I've got a V6, Chevy V6 in it. You squeeze the Chevy V6 in it? It's stuffed in there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this is kind of neat. The art, I did the artwork here, and this is uh, where I lived when I met my wife mm -hmm. when I was 16. And then when we Hawaii, where was no, this is in Port. This is in uh, Oceanside, Oregon. Oceanside, Oregon. Okay. Yeah, and well, then, yeah. Then we then all got... know there's gorgeous ocean here, but not everybody else does. We have to keep that a secret. Yeah. Shh. Shh. <laughs> but then we got married in England, and this is where we honeymooned in Brighton. And this is the Brighton Pier, which is in England. I painted that on there too. So, so you got like a what? Three six two fifty? What are you running? No, it's there? a V six. V six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's four point three. All right, man. Yeah, it gets down the road. It's a little. Yeah, I bet it scoots. Yeah. This thing, this thing probably weighs under two thousand pounds. Yeah, we we yeah we go to a few shows. We we go to the British Field meet, and yeah, you know we've been to a lot of the beaches cruises. Yes, but of uh, but because of you guys, that's why I'm here. I mean, I heard about this from you guys watching your video. That's oh, right, your mouth <laughs> to Drew's ears. <laughs> yeah. uh, Big shout out to Drew who runs this event yeah. every year, and the whole volunteer 
uh, oh, group crew as well. It's great. I love it. I like your bottle opener. You're ready to party <coughs> or stay hydrated. Tiki's here and there. Yeah. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there's little tiki's in there. Tiki, tiki, yeah, tiki. Yeah, there's one, over there. There's one for me. Right tiki, 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 tiki. Starts with tea. It's all I want to see There's bright lights, guitars, and a microphone To me that's everything and, and you brought a gift for us Which is an Elvis Tiki, tiki But we Elvis. already know Tiki Elvis And he's already on the video I'll show it again <laughs> So now we have a Tiki Elvis for our Tiki That's bar. right, we can have Tiki Elvis in our hearts forever Hey Tiki Elvis <laughs> Somebody brought us a gift, and when we they gave us this gift today, it reminded us of someone else. Oh my. <laughs> Very nice. We're like, we know him. I'm like, we know Tiki Elvis. <laughs> we know him. He needs to trim up his eyebrows, though. That's right, right, right. Uh, he has a little. His and eyes are a little. Are you, you no, are not. Uh, well, yeah, I'll not, it doesn't have as much eye shadow as this guy does, though. You just can't see it behind the sunglasses. <laughs> 